Chris. You know, as you get older, your eyesight's not quite as good as it used to be. I find I need to use a magnifier now when I'm doing small electronics and things. I have this plug-in loop that I'm going to try to make an 18-volt Ryobi battery adapter for. Let's check out the project. I picked this flex light up at Amazon. It's pretty nice. The only downside is the having to plug it in. It's got a three and a half inch glass lens, not acrylic, so it's and it's a 2.25 magnification. It's got a 13 and a half inch gooseneck uh, that's bendable, and it's got a six watts LEDs, so it's nice and bright. And you can either use it with a stand, or you can use it with a a clamp. It just detaches from here and goes into here instead. The only downside of this is that it has an AC adapter. So I'm going to change that. I'm going to make a, an adapter for the Ryobi battery. Turns out we lucked out because the AC power supply is a 20 volt output, which is just what the Ryobi battery will give us. I've designed it so the standard Ryobi 18 volt battery will connect in here. And then I made this key hole for where the gooseneck will fit in. And then on the other side, I made the male keyed section for where the clamp will go on. I loaded the model into Prusa Slicer and I've used support. I made some little shims to make it in case your arm swings a little bit too fast, you can add these in. They're 4 millimeter, 0.4 millimeters each. The print finished. I've pulled out the support from in here, from down here. Looks pretty good. Well, I'm gonna spray paint the first one. I'm pretty excited because I just got a new box of Petchy that's grass green. It's from Overture, and it looks like it's very close to Ryobi colors. Looks pretty close. I'm gonna do a test print. Here's my test piece that I printed. And this is the uh, Ryobi green box. It's very close. Need to install the battery clip. So I just usually put it on the, the battery itself. And then you can just push it. That gets it pretty much started. Then you can take it out and push it in the rest of the way. To install the clamp, you just have to line up the keyway and then turn it 180 degrees. To mount it on a table, you can just open the clamp and slide it on. To mount the LED, there's a keyway here. Just gonna stick it in and you can rotate it. If this joint is too loose, I've made some 0.4 millimeter shims that you can put in. They just slide on here and it makes it a little bit tighter. Depends on your printer. I picked these 2.1 by 5.5 millimeter plugs up. They're just short, short cables. Just going to strip the ends. Crump on connector, female connectors. The connectors clip onto the two battery contacts and then you just plug it in. And the batteries are labeled down here, plus and minus.
installed my two labels. You don't have to use the battery, the uh, clamp. You can just use the battery as a stand. You just have to be careful that it, you don't extend it too far, that it falls over. This is a nine amp hour battery. There are a ton of applications where you can use this. You can have it out in the wood shop. When you're working on the car. When you're out boondocking in the trailer. Working on the trailer brakes. Or Sue can use it when she's knitting, clamps to the back of the chair, or she can use it at the table. It's really great for when I'm doing my electronics. Well, this was a fun project. If it was helpful, please hit like and subscribe, and have a great day.